guys. Oh yeah. This is what I was looking for, some bigger crappie. I'm setting in 25 foot of water. Come here. And he's a decent one. Oh, come here, stop it. Well, y'all thinking, Dennis, you gonna grab a hold of him or you gonna let him flop around all day? I was thinking the same thing. Sometimes, oops, let me get away from the dock, guys. Get y'all up where y'all can see him. All right, guys, look. This is, uh, come on, come on. This is supposed to be a short video, but it's gonna be 10 minutes. <laughs> He's mean, I'm telling you. He could be, it's gonna be 10 minutes of me getting the hook out of him. <laughs> there you go. He's about, he's probably right at 11. All right, guys, he tore my, I tore the jig up. Ice cricket, okay? Now, I'll tell you something else you can do. I got slime all over my hands. I'm rubbing it all over the bait, too. Oh, did I just tell you all that? Don't do that, guys. I know one thing. I gotta wash these gloves when I get home because I don't cut so many crappy that they smell like crappy. I can't even hold to the little bait because it's so slimy from that, from that uh, crappy. All right. Gosh, Dennis done a terrible job. I'm gonna have to wash my hands. All right, got it. So I can hold to the bait. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm probably gonna cut most of that out of there, guys, besides me handling the fish. I'm gonna go back over here and show y'all what I've done to catch this fish on this ice bug. This is a cricket. I call it the bug on the channel. What you gotta do to catch them, you gotta get the slime off your hands so you can hold to your rod and his bait. All right. Now I'm gonna show y'all what I was doing. All right. Let me get back over here facing the. I gotta watch, guys. My camera's been cutting off on me. I gotta get in the shade here. Uh, if I don't get in the shade of the boathouse and the sun hitting my camera, she's cutting off. It's how hot it is. All right. Here's what I'm doing. See those fish on those posts? You can see there, they're 15 foot deep. All right. If I don't get in here and spook them. All right. That's how, that's how I caught that nice crappie. Now, I done been, there's a bunch of, bunch of crappie on the back of this dock. They're in 12, 15 foot, and they're all babies. All right. So trying to find bigger crappie, I came out here on the deeper part of the dock, dropped it down side that post like that, let it sink. As you can see, there's a few there. They're not a whole bunch. There's a few there. I let it sink, bounce it a couple times, and bam. Uh, I had a crappie. All right, I see those, those shuffled around a little bit. None of them grabbed me, but they shuffled around a little bit. So I know they've seen it. And I believe some of these are bass, too. I don't think they're all crappy. I think some of them are small bass. We have a lot of spotted bass here. And I think some of them are, are small bass, too. All right, but that's what I was doing. So I caught that crappy on the ice bug. Okay, oop, just had a bump right there. Um, if you're fishing a lake that, that gets hot in the summertime, this water is 84 degrees. If you can find some deeper docks, just like that. If you can find some deeper docks, that's what you want to do. This is a baby here. There you go. If you can find some deeper docks, they'll hang on these posts, guys, and they'll suspend on them just like that, okay? He's the baby of the first one I caught, right? All right, guys, this is a, this is a short video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, fishing Lake Country, Lake Country Baits. See ya.